Hello, my loves. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Before y'all get y'all panties in a bunch and everything, your jock straps in a twist, you know, about the title of this video, it's not a less the entertainment talk show video or anything. You know, I just had to pull over to vent so I can stay out of jail <laughs> because what I do not understand is why some hey auntie Val how you doing girl Woo! I know I'm not supposed to be on here on a Friday <laughs> on the morning that's not what my show usually debuts hey chaotic but are you kidding me I am trying to stay out of whole prison I, I Ah! I just, I just, I just got out the car, you know, no, got out the st just store and just sat my butt in the car and just relax, relax. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. Hey, music baby daddy. <laughs> hey, Ty. I want y'all to tell me why some of us is is on some other stuff uh, you know what I don't understand well let me let me give y'all the backstory I should should I tell the should I say the story am I allowed to say the story legally okay I'm not gonna say the story hey hit your belly I was in a facility a store I'm out and about and doing my thing and I had to do my thing before I hit the road right okay it is three, no, I'm sorry, four African-American women in the store. Ain't, no, ain't nobody in the store. Nobody, you know, but me and two other people, you know. And so I'm like, okay, I'm doing my thing or whatever. So I, when I walk in anywhere, I agree. I, I was told when you walk in a place, a room, a building, you speak. You know, so I was like, good morning, how are you? Heifer didn't say nothing. Oh, okay. She went on doing what she had to do on the shelves. I shook it off, y'all. You know, maybe she didn't hear me. I just went on about my business. But the Caucasian woman behind me walks in and goes, good morning, happy holidays. She's like, hi, how are you? I'm like, nah, Les, that's your imagined freaking nation. Nah. Okay. So I'm minding my business. You know, because I don't look good at orange. So I'm minding my business. I went on shopping or whatever else. And so I was like, um, ma'am, can I get can I get the long stick to get that tissue from on top of the way high shelf? You know, Bigfoot couldn't even reach that. It was way up there near the ceiling. And she was like, Why you wanna do that? It's some tissue up front. I'm like Okay, thank you. So I take my happy hips up front. I'm looking everywhere. I don't see any tissue, okay? And so I asked another woman. I said, ma'am, uh, I was told that tissue was up here, but I don't see any. And I said, the lady back there told me it was up front. She was the only nice one. It was four of them heifers, and she was the nice one. And she was like, okay, let me see what's going on. And so she went back there and I followed her. I said, I just asked for the stick because I see it up there. I can get some myself. You know, I, I just need the stick. <laughs> hey, Joy. Hey, Sean. And she was, she's like, I told her it was some tissue up the front. I said, oh my gosh, I feel my Cineville coming on. Oh, oh. I was like, Les, you're trying to be a new person. Yes, you are. You got a lot of opportunities that you can't be on the streets acting a fool. I'm talking to myself. Y'all better learn how you talk, learn to talk to yourself. Because just because you talk to yourself don't mean you're crazy. Okay? So I took a deep breath. <laughs> okay. And so I followed the other one up there. And she was like, I don't see it. She's like, it's in the box. This woman talking about a whole bunch of unpacked box boxes by the window what i look like and when did customers start coming into the door tearing up with people's boxes and looking through them and getting what they need are you i said okay 
Okay, and the woman was like, well, how many um, boxes do you, things do you need? I said, can I have three, please? She said, there you go, honey. I was like, okay. So I get to the register with all my other items, you know? And this other heifer, <laughs> you know? And so I shook all of that off, y'all. And I was like, good morning, ma'am. How are you today? She's like, mm. It's like, okay, see... At this point, you know it got to be Beelzebub or somebody trying to get you to act a fool in the streets of a city that you don't even belong in. <laughs> I mean, there's jail somewhere in a city. It got to call somebody to tell them where I'm at for bail. Let me stop. And I was like, okay, uh, I was just speaking. She said, like, mm-hmm. And she started doing the items or whatever else and so I'm breathing like I'm doing <laughs> labor like <sighs> and I'm being real dramatic right in front of her because at this point I don't even care no more so I'm going <sighs> <laughs> just being a straight ham yes and I try to like get some humor out of it to calm myself down you know and so she was slamming my bags on the thing I didn't even get a chance to like you know <laughs> yes girl it was the devil trying to get me to cut up and be scrapping out in these streets and I'm already uh, backed up in a lot of ways backed up stressed out overwhelmed bamboozled cheated on I mean come on I'm already some kind of way <laughs> so it's the devil girl and so she's slamming my bags packing my bags and things like that now and, and i simply said i said cause, you know because i have a langley federal car with the chip on it and a lot of the places you go to don't have their chip working and it be you be standing there swiping and re-swiping and all that stuff or whatever else so now before i go through that i ask the people do your chip work or, or should i slide the card so I said, D -d -d I said, do your chip work? Yeah, it work. I said, oh, mother, ooh, oh, whoa, ho, ho. And I, you know, I love my queen, God rest her soul. And my mama wouldn't want me out in these streets cutting up and fighting like I'm 15 and acting a fool. And she wouldn't want me in penitentiary. So I, I breathe, I breathe. I said, so she was slamming my bags, yo. And I had a lot of stuff, right? So I'm just, you know, taking advantage of the sales and whatever. Hey, L is it Luland? Luland. <laughs> and so, a Caucasian gentleman, looked like he in his maybe 60s, late 60s or 70s, a Caucasian gentleman walked behind me. So I gave him the little bar, still trying to be polite, so he can put his stuff up there, right? Yo. This heifer goes, he was like, good morning. She said, good morning, sir, how are you? I was like, what? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And I was like, no, nah, Les, that's your imagination right there. That is your imagination. He said, so how was your Christmas, young lady? She said, oh, my Christmas was fine. And this and that, we know we cooked this and this. This heifer had a smile, a different tone. She had a pep in her step. She was bouncing around like Dora the Explorer, trying to get uh, a different size bag for him and this and that. So I am just slowly putting my stuff in my basket that she, she practically threw at me. You know, and I was like, the coonage is real. Are you freaking kidding me? And I was like, something told me. I don't know. Something told me to address it right there. You know, and I just took a deep breath. And then I said, no, I'm going to say, I just play out. And so I, I wanted to interact with her again just to see what happens, bro. And I was like, thank you so much, ma'am. She's like, mm. Anyway, so what else can I get you? I'm like, you bald head. Yo. And I know this is like a little trivial story to some. But walk with me. Walk with me. I'm getting to a point. She, her whole attitude changed when the Caucasian gentleman was time to get served and things like that. She treated me like I was a busted boil on her behind for no apparent reason whatsoever. I did not do anything wrong to her or them three other evil heifers in that store, but they was hopping and skipping around and looking for stuff for the guy and the other white lady and this, this and that. And I'm sitting there like, are y'all kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Heifer, you black. 
Are you, you really? Did you you just treat me like I was nothing because I was black? And she was black too. Like what? What? So my, my question is, guys, how in the world can we talk about unity and getting together and all that stuff when we can't even treat each other right in customer service out in the streets? You have been over backwards for that plantation mentality. You know, are you serious right now? She didn't have a kind word, a lifted eyebrow, a smile, a stole the Grinch smile, nothing for me, nothing. But when the Caucasian gentleman walked up, I mean, it was like she was trying to bend over and lick his, <laughs> yo, yo, oh my gosh. And I start to call her out on it and they rested them three heifers and call the corporate and blah, blah, blah. But I was like, you know, these, 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 that's my, uh. <laughs> notifications but um Tom Moore got me hooked up on that stupid hollering goat but anyway I, I just like are you serious are you freaking serious how in the world are we gonna talk about we need to come together to stand against Trump come together to stand against the people at Flint ain't got no water now all this stuff that people talk about we need to do on social media and blah 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 and in real life you can't even treat each other kindly are you serious are you serious right now? And they were the homeliest looking, country looking. I was, I mean, I could have read them to filth. You hear what I'm saying? I mean, look like a lawnmower started on across her head and ran out of straight gas. Patches. You know, I could just, ugh. Are you serious? And to add insult to injury, my daughter Dana was at like Crackle Barrel somewhere in Williamsburg. You know, with her party and this half the, the waitress was so evil to them they didn't get they, they were thirsty they didn't get their drinks they, they, they couldn't get their food right the woman didn't come to the table at all nothing like i mean whatever but she was hop skipping and jumping for the caucasian parties at the other tables and she was black I mean, the plantation mentality is real, y'all. You know, and I, and, I, and my title is like off-putting to some, but I don't give up. I mean, I don't care, you know, but it's the truth. A coon is worse than a KKK. I'm telling you because they look like you. And so therefore, you automatically open yourself up to them. You see what I'm saying? Because you, you, you can relate to them. You know, they're your people. They're this and this and that. So that's why I say, you know, and I just feel like, you know, they're like secret moles or something. Are you serious? You're going to treat me bad. You're a system. Come on, man. The white man come up there and you are practically doing a cart wearing a headstand and treating him like he got some sense, but you treat me like crap. You won't serve my daughter, but you'll serve the other white guest. And, and you, and, and, and you know, Sierra ain't got good sense. She went to the, to the girl's, the woman's manager who was white. And she said, look, that waitress did not give her our drinks. She was mean. She was rude. I am not tipping her at all. And this is why. Bah, 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 bah. And this and that. And whatever. And she's and, and what, I, what we were discussing was you, 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 you're torn. You're torn between a rock and a hard place. Okay. That's supposed to be your sister. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or <laughs> your people. So you don't want them to lose their job, get in trouble. You want to support because you got that unity spirit within you. But this, these, they coons. You see what I'm saying? Are you serious? So you don't want to out them or get them in trouble with the man or whatever else, but you're being mistreated. So what you do, you do. Do you <laughs> be disrespected and treated like crap and everything else because they black? You know what I'm saying? I mean, are you serious? Nah, man. Nah, no. Y'all can argue the subject. Y'all can say what you want. And my, and this is not the first time this has happened, but this is just the cam, it just broke the camel's back right now. I ain't got time. Leave me alone, man. Oh, thought he was pulling up to Sandra Bland, me. Get away from me. Anyway, I am not the one. And I usually don't discuss race or politics or anything negative on my page. I really try to be positive, man. I try to do right. 
I tried to be right, but some of this stuff, man, is just straight ridiculous. Re freaking ridiculous. And so my question is, you know, what do you do? Because, uh, you know, you, you don't want to turn them in and do this and that and handle them like they deserve to be handled because they're black, you know, and they're a woman and blah, 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 and this and this and that. But they're, you know, they need to be dealt with. How do you deal with a coon? <laughs> You feel bad because they're your people, but but they stupid, man. And I didn't say that she was supposed to treat the white man properly because we were customers and her job was to serve the customers. But you treated me like poo. They can say the word. And he got, you know, Kiln Creek, <laughs> King's Mill treatment. You know, and I just think that's wrong. And now that's just my opinion. Y'all don't have to, you can talk about it in the comments. I don't care what y'all do. This is not even a Leslie Experience show. This is just Leslie Vinton to stay out of jail. In front of the store instead of in the store. That's all this is. Because, I mean, I'm so confused by it. What do you do in a situation like that? You see what I'm saying? Now, if I would have addressed her, because see, I already knew from her actions that she was ignorant. I didn't say ignorant ignorant she was ignorant so when you're ignorant and unlearned and stupid and a coon you know that if you address them no matter how polite about the situation they're gonna get loud and get ratchet and see ain't nothing weak about me i choose to be meek and i choose to love everybody and laugh and be happy but i can handle my own and see I got too many blessings coming my way, too many outstanding things happening to me. I can't be out in the street smacking a hoe. I just can't. You know, if I don't smack the side piece, I shouldn't smack the cashier. Oops, did that come out? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> woo! I am going to, through too much. And you know, guys, when you're overwhelmed and stressed out and everything else, you can have misplaced anger. A person can do one thing and every man, every child, every situation, every bill, every sickness, everything that have just pissed you off, hurt you, bled you out emotionally and everything, you will put on that person's head. <laughs> and, and, you know, it'll be overkill. You know, so I recognize that about myself. I was like, like, Leslie, you are not, you need to leave the store. You, you need to leave the store. What is Valerie saying? Valerie saying, X the race car. Turn her in. <laughs> Turn her in because I'm human. My money spin like theirs. You know, I, you know, I was thinking that, um, Val, you know, I, ugh, you know, because I, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm struggling with that thing because part of me feel bad if I turn these heifers in. Because they black and I know they need their jobs. I know they need to support their families and this and this and that. I've been a, a black woman working three jobs for years. I've been working since I was 14 years old. You know, so I know what the hustle's like. I know how women, especially black women, are stereotyped, demeaned, dragged, unappreciated, pooed on, talked about, used as sex ob objects and everything else. I know this thing because I'm a black woman and I experience these things on the daily for decades. So that was my struggle. I don't want to turn these half in but yet you deserve to be turned in and so I'm sitting in my car boiling like ah you know do I look at these heifers as like okay these sisters blah, 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 or do I like they were horrible customer service um employees or whatever and they needs to be dealt with you know so you know Val I mean I that's my struggle and I, and I but I'm, I'm and more than that I'm trying to understand why why, why some people got that mentality still? I just don't understand, you know. But I'm going to get up off of here. I need to drive off. Because if I don't drive off, what in the world are ant doing outside? It's supposed to be cold. Because if I drive, if I don't drive off, I'm going to go back in the store. So I'm going to drive off. So I won't be uh, <laughs> doing the less D experience from the jail. Because, yeah, I, I, that's just something I need to deal with uh, within me, you know, Val. You know, I just I just don't understand it. I, I mean, I understand it in a, in a time like we're living in now, how in the world we can still treat each other with such disrespect and disregard. And we look at each other like garbage and trash. So how in the world we expect any other race, any other social class to respect us and hold us in high regard? If we can't do that for each other, man, that's... Mm, uh, 
I wants to go in there so bad and put a knot on her head. It was just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I something told me to pull my phone out and videotape it and show y'all what this heifer was doing and how the other heifer was talking to me and treating me in that store and how they just did an about face when it came to the white customers looking like, oh, uh, yes, a master. Yes, sir, here he is. Here he is, master. That's how they was acting. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Valerie is saying 